what are the five signs that you are going to be a very successful forex trader we are going to talk about that today coming up next So if you have any of these five signs, it means that you are on the right track. But if you don't have it, then it's good for you to work towards getting all of these five things. And if you have all five things, man, you're crushing it. Come to see me, I'm going to interview you. The first sign that you're going to be a successful trader is you stop going around searching for new love you finally decide to settle down because your new love right now is your own trading system you're so busy working on your own system you're so busy backtesting honing your craft that you don't even have time to go out there and find the next best trading system stop searching for the holy grail so if you used to go from one seminar to another seminar look at trading website after website after web downloading software after software you just stop doing that in other words all you do is just stay at your trading desk all day and focus on what you have now rather than what is out there because I understand the outside world is very exciting and then sitting on a trading desk with your stupid keyboard it can get boring the problem with a lot of traders is that in the first 3 months is the honeymoon period after the first 3 months, it's still this same sh And all of a sudden, you scroll through Facebook, you see this post Are you frustrated that your trading system does not work? Are you bored of sitting at trading desk all day and not seeing any results? Are you sick and tired of seeing losing trade after losing trade? Yeah, totally then I have the right solution for where your trades will never ever lose again. Yeah, look at what you have, yeah, look at what that guy has. I gotta jump shit. Now here's the thing, as long as you backtest forward test, you take care of the win rate and the risk to reward ratio, then trust that it's gonna work out in the long run. Say for example, if you have a risk to reward ratio of 1 is to 1, your win rate has to be at least 50%. At least 55% to be safe if you take count the spread and all that. Second sign that you're going to be a successful forex trader is if you trade like a sniper and not a machine gun. So a lot of beginner traders especially or two to three days where they don't have a single trade but they don't have a single signal. They are going to search really hard in the market to find a trade and when they see a trade that's really low probability they be like okay maybe it's gonna work out this time it's all good you know. It's the reason why a lot of people force trade is that you still have this thinking in your mind that the more trades I make the more profitable that I'll become. When in fact the very successful traders they know that the more trades you make does not necessarily mean that you are going to make more profits in fact sometimes the less trades they make the more profitable they'll become instead of focusing on opening 100 mediocre trades they would rather open 10 good quality trades Need that another sign that you're going to be very successful as a trader is that you wouldn't feel uneasy on those days when you don't have a trade because the successful trading mindset knows that the non-trading days are some of your best trading days the trades that you did not make are some of the best trades that you have made because you trade like a sniper meaning you only shoot when you have to GTA 5 I play all the versions nothing to be proud about actually the third sign that you're going to be a very successful forex trader is you are taking one step forward every single day 10,000 hour rule if, if you put in 10,000 hours in everything that you do you're going to be world class at it when I go to the golf clubs yard clubs I see a lot of golfers they are there every single day for 10 years they've been playing golf swinging the golf club every single day literally clock in more than 10,000 hours they might be able to strike an eagle once in a while but are they world class? They are still the same place every single year. This is the thing, scientists have studied the difference between those who are good at doing something, meaning they are getting by, they are earning a salary, but they are not number one in the country, they are not number one in their community, they are, and there are those who are the top 1%, which are the greats, of the Michael Phelps, the Warren Buffett. So scientists have studied the top chess players, the top musicians. You want to find what's the difference between these two? They find it's not about IQ. The difference between this group of people and this group of people is the way they practice. The greats practice in such a way that they are improving by 1% every single day or more. Okay? By 1% every single day. Average performers, they are just repeating that action every single day. If you repeat the action every single day, you just swing the golf club without even thinking about it, you're not going to improve. Even if you do it for 10 years, 20 years, you're not going to improve. The way to really improve by 1% every single day is to get fit 
feedback. Now in terms of trading, how do you get feedback? There are two main ways. Number one, trading journal. When you have a trading journal, you can literally triple the amount of experience that you have. Because when you trade, you look at the trade one time. When you record it down, you look at the trade second time. When you review it at the end of the week, look at that trade again the third time. So the second way that you can get feedback is through your mentor. So that's one very powerful question that you can ask your mentor after you have made that trade. How can I improve on this trade? Regardless of whether it's a winning trade, losing trade, okay so-so trade, there's always something to improve on. That's why Michael Phelps, when he became world number one in swimming, he still learned from his coach. Because there are blind spots that you cannot see, in which your coach or your mentor can point it out to you. The fourth sign that you're going to be very successful for a trader is when you stop seeing losing trades as bad trades. You wouldn't feel that you're wrong about the trade because you understand that it is just part of the trading process. You understand that having a losing trade is like an entrepreneur having a business expense. Having a losing trade is just everyday life. You're not wrong about that trade unless you really make a stupid mistake. Most of the time, it's just part and parcel of your system because again, there's no such thing as a 100% win rate system in this whole entire world. If you can find it, give it to me. You also wouldn't take that losing trade personally. You wouldn't feel that the market is trading against you. Unless your broker really sucks shit, then you start to see bad trades differently. You define a bad trade as a trade that doesn't follow your trading plan. The fifth sign that you're going to be a very successful forex trader is if you have a weekend trading routine. Now I find that a lot of traders over the years, they either have a type A personality or they're very entrepreneurial. If you have these two qualities together, very likely you wouldn't want to take a rest in the weekends on public holidays. And it's okay if you go for a spa once in a while because otherwise you're going to get burnt out. And then you're going to blame me for it because Karen says you must hustle every single day. So a weekend trading routine doesn't have to be like for the whole entire Saturday, Sunday. It can be just one hour on Saturday or one hour on Sunday researching and preparing for the next trading week. Reviewing your trading journal. Or can spend the whole entire weekend backtesting your current system or testing out a new system. Studying the charts, reading books, watching financial videos instead of videos making slime. If you have money, you can buy the slime you want. So Karen, okay, are you saying money is everything? Okay, okay. Just... Go and watch all the slime videos. So hopefully these 5 signs can give you an indication whether you're on the right track or whether there are some things that you can improve on. So let me know down in the comment section below what do you think are the other signs that you will become a very successful forex trader. I'd love to hear about your opinions so just let me know, okay? So with that, I'm careful and I'll talk to you in the next episode. Bye.